welcome to Art of Awakening. Um, I, I'm going to do something a little bit different uh, today where we have a very special guest. This is Awasama, and I am so sorry. I, I want to, I'm probably going to slaughter your pronunciation, so I'm just going to let you <laughs> speak your own name. Yes, my name is Wasima Isra. So Isra is uh, another spiritual name. And yes, I was born in North Africa, so I have an Arab name. That's why right. sometimes it's a bit difficult to pronounce. <laughs> okay, so so welcome, Wasaba, correct? And um, I just uh, thought it would be wonderful to have Wasaba on because, uh, like, Art of Awakening, Awakening is all about finding your genius zone and uh, really living your purpose through the gifts and talents that you were given by spirit and finding that zone of genius in order to really um, live your purpose. And Wasaba just strikes me as somebody, she's an example of somebody whose creative expression is in full power. She's fully expressing her creative power to bring light into the world in so many ways and helping others to do so as well. So um, I'm so excited to have you here. Um, I just want to introduce you a little little bit about to, to tell the audience who you are and kind of what, what, what you're doing in the world. Um, Wasma is a, a modern spiritual guide. She's an author and creative, intuitive and cosmic messenger therapist. She provides care and shamanic energy and provides multiple courses and programs online. She also has her own Oracle deck, which she's going to uh, uh, bring out in a moment. Um, she is inspired by nature, magic, and the stars. I just love that. Known for her creativity and her sweetness, she creates different tools to help in everyday life. And she shares teachings to support the process of ascension. At the spiritual level, her role as white lady and guardian of the Temple of Truth is to help star beings to remember their origins and rebuild their pillars of light. Wasma currently resides in Portugal and loves to travel, draw, photograph, smell flowers and play tarot. Welcome. You welcome uh, to <laughs> myself here and welcome to you. And I'm so, so happy to be here. I'm so honored to be here. And um, yeah, I'm happy. It's an <laughs> happy honor to, to have you, you, for sure. <laughs> happy to share my passion and talk about yes. many different subjects. And yeah. And I love that the happiness, your joy just shines through. And I love that you're wearing yellow. <laughs> it's just such a joyful color. Yes, yes. And it is <laughs> raining today. When it is raining, wear colors so that that's people right. <laughs> remember the light. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So I would love to hear from you a little bit about your story, like the story <laughs> of your awakening, what drew you to this path, um, how you found your own unique voice. And I'm sure, you know, for all of us, there's there's always a path that comes into, you know, when, when, when you find a person who's actually stepped into their power and the creative expression, so. Um, I, I, I just before every time I speak there are some messages that come through and I can like choose mentally and uh, you know like with my left brain what I need to say but when I get inspiration I like to follow it so, <laughs> so just before I was in Lisbon like the city of uh, the big city in Portugal and I live uh, in a small village uh, like 30 minutes away from Lisbon and while I was coming I got that memory from my childhood mm -hmm. and where I was uh, be believing or I was really believing truly that I was a queen and that I was a queen coming from another planet another oh, star beautiful. <laughs> I love it yes and and I, I got that image and um um you know I used to I used to um I, I I used to uh, create clothes when I was young. I was like five years old, six years old, and I was creating clothes. And uh, we had uh, a neighbor that used to make clothes for people, and uh, she, she had a gift for that, and I learned a lot from her. And I used to make clothes for myself as a queen. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> uh, yes, and, and I, I used to have that images, and uh, so I, I got that memory just before I come. And other aspirations that started coming on the on the car when I was driving that I am a queen as everyone among us is a queen or a king yes and during our lifetime this on this planet we forget that we forget that we are um we are that queen or king or yeah. princess and prince not in a naive way in really a wise way in a way and 
as we forget it, we get away from our essence through through nature. And the more we get away from it, the more we disrespect our nature, we disrespect our um, uh, that spark we have, we disrespect that life, uh, the spark of life we have. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, awakening is really the journey back to that, to that um, belief of we are a sacred being. Yes. Because when we say we are queen or we are king, we are talking about that wise aspect of us, but also that's uh, sacred and mystic because in the past, queens and queen were connected to the gods and goddesses. Okay. That means to masters and, you know, we are talking about in the accession way, they had that I, um, DNA brain uh, that was really um, uh, very, very um, advanced in a way. And they had that responsibility that um, uh, they needed to take care of their people, of their uh, place, or they, they needed to take care of a lot of things. But first, they needed to take care of their own spirituality and connection to that mastery or to that beings or to that goddess or god or, or the oneness. And I, I believe this is really our <laughs> our goal you know, on this yeah. on this time is to get back to that position of queen and king and get back to the connection with the oneness or the spiritual side, whatever we can call it. And also at the same time, living in the plane and the earth plane. So it's right, not right. one or another, it's both. Yes. And, yes. and we are that um, DNA that allows mm -hmm. that experience of merging these two together. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I don't know if I answered your oh, question, okay. but that's what came. <laughs> Yeah, so this is something that really you have retained that essence that all of us are born with, right? So that we have a lot of us retained as children. And, you know, that's when we go out, we do the make-believe, and we're really living our truth through the, the, the creative pretending, right? And it's it's not really pretending. I mean, it's pretending, but it's it's we're really tapping into our essence when we do that when we're and you, know, you see little kids and they're like i'm superman <laughs> and i mean they are really accessing and developing their superpowers when they're doing that and you have retained that through it is there any time where you lost it where you felt like you didn't have that yes uh i don't know if i lost it or i stopped i would say i stopped believing in it because mm -hmm. um, we, we all, all of us live um, and get some traumas during our lifetimes. I got traumas mm -hmm. of violence, of uh, sexual abuse, of a lot of things during my life and uh, harassment, <laughs> even mm -hmm. in, uh, in workspaces and a lot of things during my lifetime. And every experience brought two things in me, the shock and an opening <laughs> the shock and op <laughs> yes, it, yes. It, it's like the same seed but it has um like these two sides a side that was emotionally really heavy mm -hmm. and bring a lot of questions about why is this happening to me why am i not feeling like the others why am i not uh, acting like the others why yeah. and bringing all these questions about our um personality or the persona or how we identify ourselves in this society and all these things but at the same time it brings another uh other gifts among these gifts is to push us forward um right. to uh say our truth to um uh, to to reconnect to the compassion to forgive ourselves before and forgive the others um it opens us to share these experiences and understand others because right. uh, i understand people when they come and talk about this i feel them i understand what they are what they are feeling about what are the thoughts that come to them <laughs> so right. it becomes every every experience and i really i'm really amazed by that because um at the time I live the experience, I don't realize it. But just after that, <laughs> I understand yeah. that, okay, I got this experience because <laughs> I need to share about it. I need to talk about it. Even, yeah. uh, even sickness, um, uh, separation, uh, a lot of experiences that are a bit hard. Uh, for me, they were a source of inspiration to share with others and um, yeah, bring teachings and all this. 
Right, yeah. right. You speak a little bit about that compassion because that came through a couple of different ways in what you just said. Yes, uh, compassion. Oh my God. Uh, people always, like when we talk about that, people always think about compassion towards others. But the first connection we need to make is compassion towards ourselves. Yeah. And um, there was a shamanic journey I did, and that was really when I felt the compassion. Mm. And I reconnected to the queen I am. <laughs> oh, there you go. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, I connected to the queen and the queen side of me, and she showed me what it means to be compassionate. And mm. it didn't show me. She didn't show me that in. Um, a work environment or she showed me that in a nature place in the forest oh, beautiful so i was like oh my goodness um compassion we don't need to talk about it we need to connect to it as an entity or as a being in a way yeah. like we connect for example to you know at the moment we are having a, a, um, a training and like three weeks with uh with cats and we connect to Sekhmet, we connect to oh, Bad or Bastet, mm -hmm. and we ident identify them as God uh, or Goddess. And mm -hmm. compassion is an I, is an entity for me, is a, a being, is a, is a consciousness unity, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and we can take to it, we can ask her <laughs> mm -hmm. to to meet with us. It, she can meet through the, the queen or king you are, and... Um, yes through teaching, through omens, through signs, but we need to feel it more yes. than talk about it and perceive it with our left side. Right. You know, we need really to feel it through our heart. And as soon as you feel that compassion, um, you transmit it to others. And there is something coming in now. So I might connect with that compassion and maybe just channel that for the moment. Do, please do. Okay, I'll just bring my rattle. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of angels and archangels came too, um, and I saw that the compassion came, and she was uh, holding us, and she made a bowl, and she put all the suffering that people mm -hmm. who would be watching, uh, and I just like wanna cry. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> she she put all that suffering into that bowl and she brought it with the archangels and angels up to the light so they can work it and transmute it um 
a beautiful bridge of light. Compassion is a bridge mm. of light. It is so beautiful. Yeah, I can feel it too. I'm starting to cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm wondering if you could speak to that element of nature that you mentioned because we come, many of us come from a tradition in our culture where nature is vilified or, you know, there's a lot of fear around nature. Wild nature is thought of as the, the bared fangs and the claws and the, the you know, the, the driving snow and the, you know, the difficult things. Um, but you're connecting to a whole different side of wild nature. Um, <laughs> they want me to talk about something specific today. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> about nature. I, um, um, I was suspected to have the Lyme disease. I don't know if you know about it. It's like, um, yeah, yeah. A small insect that gets you mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, without sometimes noticing and it affects the immune system and many other functions and mm -hmm. some people have have it for uh, for a long 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 time before knowing that it is uh, the Lyme disease yeah. and the Lyme disease is coming from this uh, tick you know and it is found in forests mm -hmm. and now that you know I'm, I connect with other people who have this disease because I you know I I, I know a lot of things about it and I know you know how to direct people not really medical care things but mm -hmm. just you know as uh, suggestions and all this stuff and this disease and this um and all other things brought that fear more mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> uh, okay again yes uh, from nature from being in nature from mm -hmm. from the forests and if you notice through all the stories we know, even fairy tales talking mm -hmm. about queen and queens today, yeah. we are we we have that fear that appears from mm -hmm. forests in yeah. the stories. And um as much as we fear nature, we are cutting it bite by bite and putting a lot of boxes you know like <laughs> buildings all over the places mm -hmm. and then we, there is small forest we call it then a park a national park <laughs> to protect it <laughs> because we, no we can't do without it right <laughs> so you find all that like in portugal i was really surprised to find uh buildings all over the place and there are just a few parks uh, national parks that are protected and um, you know now they they are trying to control more you know this uh, uh, I, they call it urban development but I call it urban destruction <laughs> mm -hmm. because it's yes and uh, we call it nature but in truth it is us we we come from nature we yes. come we know you know you know that we are water we are earth we are we we are dust and we come from the earth and we go back to the earth and we you know and even in the spiritual path which is uh, which is interesting especially in the ascension path i okay i say that i'm queen i'm king i'm coming from another planet or another star system but i am coming to this planet as a choice i ch i've chosen to come here to come to experience yes. the material sides, experience the limitations of a physical body, experience the beauty of taste, <laughs> the beauty of colors, the yes. beauty of light. We have chosen to come be here. So why don't we embrace? It's really fear from nature is really for me, not embracing all our parts and all our existence. Um, yes. So, and from regarding this Lyme disease, I see it really as a big sign of get back to nature, mm. get back to us. Yeah. Because um, in the homeopathy system, we treat by the same, uh, um, if, you had, if you had the problem, we treat by the same problem, as we say, the same uh, right. venom. Mm -hmm. um, we use the same thing. And... I, I find really this interesting as a, as a, as a system of thinking. Mm -hmm. Why don't we think that the problem is the solution, is inside right. 
Right. Yes. So the Lyme disease, for example, and many diseases we get from insects or other things, you know, mm -hmm. are a call, a call from nature, get back to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. There is uh, an imbalance in the planet at the moment. And, you know, you are nature, get back to yourself in a way. Mm -hmm. Remember that as uh, in the Matrix movie, we are all the oneness. We are right. all like you, me, this right. computer is an entity. Yes. <laughs> And uh, in shamanism, it's uh, I, I love I love really practicing shamanism because it's a direct experience. It's a direct dialogue. You don't need uh, to have an intermediate or teacher. Right. Or you right. go and you meet the nature. So this is the same principle. Go and meet nature as an mm -hmm. entity, as a being, and ask her why. What do you need? What is it that you want to tell me today? Not just like a, why do you exist? Or, or, seeing it, or seeing it as a, like a, um, a, a medication or a problem or a thing, mm -hmm. but exchanging with it. It doesn't have nature trees. I made a, I made this uh, um, small workbook, uh, oh, Wisdom of beautiful. Trees, and trees have been um, have been tell me some um, teachings. You know, um, come meet with us. <laughs> speak right. with us we have a different language we don't talk with words but we have other ways to talk and it doesn't mean that we are not smart it just means that we are different this is uh, this is one of the messages of nature for today <laughs> that is beautiful and it's so funny that you're mentioning this because i was just i was thinking this morning about plants and how we tend to think of plants as lower beings, but man, they're really not like they are spiritually so far above us. These are creatures that eat light, right? And they invented the flower and, and they have so much wisdom to, to give. So I think it's so beautiful that um, you're connecting with them in that way. Yes. And I know that you're connected to, uh, I'm bringing here. Um, it's coming. Mm -hmm. I'm making uh, I'm making an oracle deck. You, um, like I know that you consider nature like this too, yeah. because you have an oracle deck with animals. Right. And yeah, and I want to hear about your deck. So yeah. Yes. Uh, well, this is um, <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, okay. This okay. She wants to be spoke about. Okay. Um, <laughs> because I got um. My, my parents um, are foresters. They worked with, you know, nature, farmers and all this. Mm -hmm. And I have always been connected to plants, but I got so much fed up with the names of plants. With the <laughs> identification. This plant is good for this. This plant is not good for that. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't feeling connected through that way. So I was like, okay, you know, I, I really don't want to know all about that. But during my healing sessions, plant... Uh, plants and flowers, especially flowers, kept coming in and talking to people and healing them. And I was like, okay, so there is something to that. Mm -hmm. So I started writing down all um, teachings I got about, uh, you know, some flowers. And it, ha it sometimes it was a headache because I see the plant, I see the flower, but I don't know the name. <laughs> <laughs> I need to look on the internet, you know, white uh -huh. flower, this size. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have at all the names. And the roses, it was, oh my God. There are so many names for roses. I was like, oh, oh my sure. God, <laughs> I just need this rose. <laughs> so I finally managed to find names and some names I, I invented because I, it was yeah. really a headache to discover them. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and today I was in Lisbon. Mm -hmm. uh, I talk a lot, right? I just took it in the time. <laughs> yeah, we are talking about some stuff that are interesting. Uh, today, I was in Lisbon, a crowded city, and I was yeah. just making a round, you know, and I just noticed that there is the shikori. The shikori yeah. flower was there, and usually, you know, she's present, at she, because for me, it's a being. She's mm -hmm. present uh, more in August, you know, um, mm -hmm. July, yeah. August, something like that. It is October, it is mm -hmm. November, and I felt right. sorry. So I had to stop and go yeah. meet her and um, uh, ask her if I can extract some of the, of her uh, presence there, you mm -hmm. know, to make tinctures and all this. 
and she agreed and she was really happy that you know um <laughs> of course when i do that i i take just like few i don't like taking like oh uh, for two, for this year and the next year and the year <laughs> right. after <laughs> right yeah <laughs> like the end of the world um you know and uh i just picked the card from this stack i am creating mm -hmm. and this is the shikuri again <laughs> yeah oh beautiful <laughs> yes so she's okay so so this is hold up your deck so that people can see yes this is a, a new deck i'm making and oh, i didn't beautiful. print it yet i'm I'm just using it for now mm -hmm. and uh, preparing it to be printed and it's uh, okay. pictures i have taken from the flowers and others i have looked on the internet because um the the flower comes to me in spirit and I sometimes sure. don't have it in my environment. Yeah. And this Shikori is a star being, is a star being. And mm -hmm. she brings that light from stars and bring it to our, um, um, to our, uh, the, um, how do we call it? The column? Um, the, uh, our the, column? The spine or the... The or... spine. Yes, yeah, the spine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Fran <laughs> French is uh, more easy for me ever. <laughs> she brings it to the spine and she revigorates all the organs and all the systems mm. and she gives more energy and more light she's she's beautiful healer um and we know about her that she's uh, good for our stomach to heal stomach and ulcers and all this you know uh, all what is related to the uh, intestines and all this and we know her as um, a coffee replacement for coffee and all this there are so many things into this flower a healing yeah. healing oh, everything sure. in nature is healing everything in nature is healing that's so beautiful awesome i want to like i want to talk to you for like all day <laughs> Um, but I just want a couple of things I want to make sure that we touch on is one, I know that you have, um, this is your new deck and it sounds like it'll be out pretty soon or. Yeah, maybe the end of the year, the beginning of the year, I'm, okay. I'm working on and printing it, uh, um, alongside with this, uh, Oracle deck, um, the cosmic laws Oracle. That's deck. what I wanted you to, to, to bring up mm -hmm. the cosmic laws deck and tell us just a little bit about that. Uh, well, this one, um, I will show you pictures uh, of the paintings while I'm talking about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, and this is nature. Oh, um, beautiful. I had this uh, teachings coming in about spiritual laws. I have already read about them, but there were th there were some teachings different in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was like, okay, try to uh, record in them, write in them, and then they, e they uh, evolved uh, into a system. So we have this cosmic laws, but we have the environment in which they play. And then we have the way they communicate with us. They communicate with us through emotions, mm -hmm. through principles. So I was like, okay, this is too big. How, what should <laughs> I do? So they, they, I got this inspiration to make an Oracle deck and the paintings Beautiful. I did. Look at this being. <laughs> that came wow. <laughs> Wow. So the paintings were made with uh, watercolor mm -hmm. and it, they were wet. So I had to uh, make these paintings with the eyes closed, mm. picking the cards with eyes closed. And wow. as soon as I did that, I had to take the pictures straight away. Uh, I ha it has to click uh, the right moment, taking pictures while they were wet because oh, the water element. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, the water element was important to transmit yes. the cosmic laws. Um, talking about the spine, this is the physical body. Mm. So yes, yeah, so um, this the idea is to transmit the cosmic laws, but to show people how to apply them, how to understand them in our physical life. There is always this thing be, uh, on the teachings I, I get and I transmit between bringing teaching and applying it on the physical plane this balance. Um, so yeah, so uh, I had the first print in February or April and it it went out of stock really pretty quickly. So now I'm printing it again by the end of the year. And this is the heart. Oh, is that beautiful? Yes, it, she appeared like a dancer. The mm. heart appeared like a dancer. Oh, for sure. She looks like a flamenco dancer. And I love the nature card too, because it just, I looked at that. It was like, it looks like an embrace. Yes. Me, so yeah. <laughs> And this is the law of love. Oh, beautiful. 
Yes. So, yeah, so there are 68 cards inside and they came mm -hmm. with um, with a guidebook that uh, is in French and in English. Mm -hmm. And we oh, can nice. find okay. it there in uh, Lulu or on my website. Oh, beautiful. So talk about how to find you in just a little bit. I just want to ask, is there anything else that you felt like you to bring forward or do you want to do a little reading deck or I'll, I'll, I'll give the platform to you? <laughs> Well, there is something came, came, that came up, um, uh, you know, for this talk, and there is this uh, vigilance or prudence or cautious, and there is that mask that came, you know, we put like a mask in the theater just here. Mm, yes, I see it. And there is that suspicion card that came too, which hmm. are two cards, and here the suspicion for me everyone will see something different in these cards and this is really beautiful and <laughs> creative. i mean if you are creative and intuitive this is really deck for you um yeah and there is this being that is close over himself so mm -hmm. i was like what is going on in the moment you know and they were saying like there yeah. are some things regarding this so I would pick a card to bring healing to this aspect of us at the moment who are okay many events political events and economical events come coming in and in united mm -hmm. states in the uk so um yes and this is interesting and we got the card of mortal concept or egotic co concept ego um okay. mind concepts that means for me that we need to really um get out of that identification we talked about uh, earlier yes. uh, and there is this dog I see. And for me, dog is really faithful. But sometimes mm -hmm. we need to stop following what people say to us or what um, all these big things that are happening uh, say to us. This is not the truth. Get into nature, go to nature, and you will get the truth. You will have your heart that will beat with the same beat as the earth that is slower. Mm -hmm. And when it is slower, you can really tap into a different consciousness. You can understand things in a different way. And from that place, you can decide about your life and decide about who you vote for, who <laughs> will take that company, who you can, who, who can take responsibility for you, whatever. But tap into nature. This is really what is coming for today and get out of all this mass, all this, all these things happening around you. Heartbeat of the earth. Beautiful. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you. That's so timely and such a beautiful message. Yeah. Absolutely. Message. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how can people learn more about you? Where can they find you? And I, know, I, I just want to mention right away that you do have a YouTube channel and I will post that link below. So that's a good place to start. But beyond that. Yes, uh, they can find me in my new YouTube channel for in, uh, in English because I had uh, one in French. Oh, okay. Yes. And now oh, I, have, okay. I started the one in English just to meet with my English community because I found that they're, they're, they were growing. Yes. And uh, you can find me on my website, www.ouassimagic.com. -S -S <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the link to that below as well. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit not, not common. <laughs> And I and check out Wasima, check out her website and check out her shop because she's got a ton of really awesome stuff on her shop and her own deck. Um, she's got also decks that she's curated from various play work shop workbooks. I'll check it out for sure. Great. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Ona, for a pleasure. It's been yeah. Thank you for, for inviting me. It was really a <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> so I, um, namaste. I really uh, honor and, and really enjoy the queenly beauty and joy that you bring uh, <laughs> everywhere you go. So thank you so much. And um, you. just have a lovely week and, and lovely week to everybody. We'll catch you again soon.